Good morning, this is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I just have a quick update on Reason 10.3, the VST performance patch that's coming out shortly for Reason. Um, I'm still not in the beta, but what I did want to address was the issue of VST3s. Um, most of the VST plugins that we're using right now are VST 2.4, uh, which is just sort of an interface standard. Um, and Reason doesn't support VST3. I haven't had any problems with that. Most of the plugins I use are VST 2.4. I haven't run into any situation where I couldn't run anything. Um, but a lot of people that, there are certain plugins that are only on VST3, um, and the future is VST3. So I know some people were concerned about whether or not Reason 10.3 would include VST3 support. Um, based on the last video I did. And since I did that last video, propeller heads have confirmed that VST3 support is not going to be included in Reason 10.3. Uh, so there you have it. If that was something you've been waiting for, um, it's not yet included. But hopefully down the line it will be added. Um, I think that's going to be the case because there are, there's just the 2.0, the 2.4 standard has been stopped being supported. Uh, by the creators of the standard. It doesn't mean it's going to disappear at all, but I think 3.0 is the future. Um, so I would imagine that at some point down the line, Reason will add VST3 support. But to me, performance is way more important and stability because why have VST3 plugins if they don't run right? Um, and so to me, I don't care that much at this moment. Uh, maybe in another year or two, it'll be a big deal. But what I care about is getting this performance patch out the door and the fact that they didn't have to delay to add VST3 support. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how VST 2.4s work and VST 2s work in Reason 10.3 when that comes out shortly. All right, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Reason tips. Bye-bye.